What happened yesterday was uh, 19 of our trains lost communication with the control center, so we're still trying to determine why that happened. When that happens, we actually have to manually drive each train back into the station. So we were able to attend most of the most of the trains uh, relatively quickly, um, and so. But it, we, it does take quite a, a little bit of time to get the service right back up and running. Um, most service was restored within around two hours, uh, but it took about two and a half hours to get the whole system back up again. Unfortunately, there were obviously some frustrated transit users yesterday. I've spoken to some this morning. What would you say to those people who have lost confidence in the job that TransLink is doing? You know, we totally understand our customers' uh, frustrations. They have every right to be frustrated uh, when you're relying on a system, particularly to get to and from work. People have, you know, timelines. They have to be places at certain times. So it is really frustrating. Yesterday was a particularly warm day, so people were warm. And in fact, some people got panicky and, and broke out of the train, which is really, you know, unfortunate. Um, so, it, you know, we totally understand and, and we're very, very sorry. You know, all we can do is say that we are a large city. These things are going to happen on, on our trains. They happen all over the world. We do have delays, and all we can do is do our very best to get to people quickly, restore services as quickly as we can, and, uh, and work hard to make sure that we're, uh, we're reducing the number of the disruptions that we do have. The last major shutdown, we were there at Joy Street Station that morning, and it was a bird's nest of all things that, that caused that. I was personally impressed with the job staff was doing on site. The way they were talking to people, but what I heard from a lot of transit users was there was no communication when they got on the train in Surrey or New West. There was no announcements made. They didn't know a problem existed until they got to Joy Street. So, what is TransLink doing to? improve communication with its customers. Yes, yeah, so I mean we do get information as quickly as we can. So talking to you today, so thank you very much for this opportunity. I mean that allows us to get information about what we're doing in the actual heat of the moment. We do provide information on the trains. Uh, we have signs all over the place. Our staff have the information. We're on Twitter. Uh, we're out with the media. So we do uh, our very best to get the information out. I don't I can't speak to that specific case that you're talking about, but uh, we do really try hard to and that's something we learned from last summer. We did get